Hey guys and welcome to another Liverpool career mode episode on the new FIFA 16. This is the third episode so far in the series and again we're still trying to get Rugani on a contract. Ah, oh, He's just taking forever this guy to try and get him to accept a contract. But now as you'll see we're going into some scouting network business. We've, uh, we're have we hiring some scouts right now and you'll notice that the scouts are so much cheaper this year. This will be seriously OP for um, if you're doing like a Road to Glory or something because you can also train the youth players in your youth team before you call them up to the first team. So you, so you could have like someone that's as good as Tillemans in your youth team and you don't have to pay contract or anything. You don't have to worry about playing them. They're just sat in your youth team. You're able to train them and their growth is even better in the youth team. So now we're going to go into the... Semi-finals, this is a pretty big game actually, against River Plate. If we win this, we go through to the final of this pre-season tournament. And as you'll see, we're putting quite a strong lineup on because it is the semi-final and we're getting closer to the start of the season, get fitness up, etc. And uh, we're going to go straight to the game and hopefully we can get the result that will get us into the final. Because if we win this, then effectively... Um, What's his face? T. Elements is basically free, but they've got an early chance here. They fire it near post. And I'm not quite sure what to say about Mignolet. I mean... In the last couple of games that he's played, he's been fairly solid. He made that mistake where they were offside, but I think that was a glitch when the player scored when he was offside. I think he just refused to go for it because he was offside. But that... That's terrible. But still, only 13 minutes in, and they're attacking again, and it's really nice play. Gonzalez takes a shot, it's a good block, and this time it's blasted high and wide. But now only 25 minutes in, we still haven't had a chance, and they pass it in again, and it's another good save by Mignolet. This, these are the kind of saves I've been on about, and then he went and made that mistake. So he's been a bit inconsistent recently, but... Um, I'll keep faith in him, and we'll see how he can do, and he makes another great save. I mean, Mignolet's keeping us in this game, and he's the one that made us concede the goal. But now, 41 minutes in, are we going to have our first shot of the game? Sturridge, he's running, takes a fake shot, does his defender, takes a shot. Good save by the keeper, it's still alive, back to Sturridge. He volleys it, and it's wide of the post, quite far wide, actually, in the end. But now, nice passing play in the second half. Benteke gets his shot away, but it's blocked easily. That's not much of a chance, to be honest. But now, 61 minutes in, some great passing play. By River Plate, and now Joe Gomez has found himself in a 1v2 situation. <sighs> and we're 2-0 down. We're 2-0 down, and to be honest, Joe Gomez couldn't do much there. It was poor defensive positioning from the rest of the team, but James Milner with a free kick here. 39 yards out. Can he do anything from it? Forces a decent save from the keeper. And from this corner, we swing it into Martin Skirtle, and he gets a brilliant header in, and we're back in this game. We've got six minutes left to get another goal and take this to extra time. Hopefully, we can do that because we need to. Like I say, we need to cover the costs of Tielemons, but Moreno running in now. He can't get a shot away. He's tackled easy. Henderson takes a shot, and it's a decent save. But we're deep into stoppage time now, and that is the full-time whistle, and we failed to win this pre-season tournament. We've only made it to the semi-final, but in Brighton, as you will see, we've had a contract offer accepted from uh, Jürgen Shakiri, not Jürgen Shakiri, Jürgen Shakiri, Mustafi and Rugani. And in the end, we decide to go for Mustafi and reject uh, Rugani because I think we could do with a first-team centre-back, to be honest, because Gomez, yeah, however much I want him to be a first-team centre-back, he's not ready just set. Talk of the devil. We're giving him training here, and he's actually going up quite a bit. Went up pretty much half a bar in that training. And now <laughs> a one-year loan deal from Real Madrid for John Flanagan, of all players. And uh, more loan offers coming in. And then back to training. Again, you'll see we're going with the train same drills as, na as uh, last week. And he gets an F on perfect delivery, which isn't great. And more loan deals coming in for TX Sierra and Brannigan. And uh, to be honest, I'm not too bothered about sending these players out on loan because I can't see them coming into the first team for maybe three years yet. But now Joe Gomez, in his third week of training, has gone up to a 69, so he's already gone up by three, and we're not into the start of the season. And a big transfer offer here, we're sending out Devokarigi on a short-term loan to Watford. And now, guys, we are going into our first Barclays Premier League game of the season. Now, hopefully we can have a better game in the Barclays Premier League than we did against River Plate, because I think we played quite poorly 
in that game, but we're at the Britannia, ready for the start of the new season. Away from home, the last time we played Stoke away from home, obviously Liverpool lost 6-1, Gerrard's last game for Liverpool, it was a really poor game, and you'll see the new feature here at the start of the match, showing off the debuts and the uh, transfer fees, you'll see how much we paid for Mustafi there, which 25 million, which is quite a bit, but a nice pass. And a nice turn from Firmino, takes it to storage, and it's in off the post. And when you have an immediate impact in this game, only five minutes in, and we've got the goal. And storage with his wave dance has been updated, and I'm not so sure about that. It looks like he's having a spaz attack, to be honest. But um, I think it was a really good turn by Firmino. I don't think he actually meant it. I think he glitched out a bit, but uh, I'll take it. And now 12 minutes in, Milner, nice back heel to storage, through to Firmino. And he strikes it straight at Butland. That should have been 2-0 there. And now Milner with a free kick. He passes it short to Klein. And then to Henderson. He's looking for the shots. He takes it straight at Butland again. But we're dominating so far in this game. 30 minutes in. And they still haven't had a chance to be honest with you. But as I say this is Glenn Whelan. He passes it to Arnautovic. And that's their first shot of the game. And it's blazed high and wide. And now it's crossed in. And Joe Gomez makes a mistake. Bojan almost capitalises on it. We got quite lucky there to be honest. But into the second half we go. And it's cross in there. Cool defending this time. Geoff down to Whelan. He strikes it straight at Mignolet, luckily. And now Stoke are really starting to go for it. We're getting closer and closer towards the end of this game. And they're really going for it. Great punch by Mignolet. You've got to argue he could have grabbed that though. But he comes up with a great save there. He makes up for the mistake of the punch. But now into the 80th minute. We've got Coutinho running forward. He takes a fake shot. He could be through on goal. He's stopped by the defender. Firmino takes the shot. It must be 2-0 and it's not. He's missed. He's missed. I can't believe it. Firmino missed that shot. But wait, Daniel Sturridge plays it through to Danny Ings. It could be 2-0. And Danny Ings shows Roberto Firmino how you finish 1v1. As the uh, commentator, I don't know if you can hear that. I had a right cheeky voice break there. But Danny Ings runs up to the camera and celebrates quite rightly. Wonderful pass by Daniel Sturridge. You might see it on the replay. Plays a really nice pass there. Just plays it in front of him. Plays it in front of Danny Ings there. One touch and a really calm, collected finish. And it uh, doesn't really get much better than that. But in the 90th plus second minute, that is going to bring us to full time. And that is going to bring us to the end of this episode, guys. If you have enjoyed, please remember to like and subscribe. Surely the start of the season, and only the third episode deserves a like. But until next time, I will see you guys later.